We're bringing you live coverage of this year's Cellcom Green Bay Marathon. In fact, the race is happening as we speak. Yeah, but this huge annual event affects more than just runners. That's right. We have Brent now from Family Services joining us uh, live to tell us more about how charities benefit from the race. Uh, good morning to you, Brent. Uh, good morning. How are you doing? We are doing good. We're wondering, uh, before we get into you know, how charities benefit, uh, it looks like maybe some runners are starting to cross the finish line already. Yeah, I think some of the top finishers from the half marathon are crossing right now as we speak, actually. Yeah, how's everyone it's looking out there? They're looking pretty good, as a matter of fact. You know, it's a great day to be a volunteer, but a little hot for a runner. But the runners are, are uh, finishing strong, so. Yeah, that's fantastic. So why don't you tell us a little bit about family services and how it benefits from the marathon? Sure. Well, it's really a great opportunity for us to uh, raise awareness and to raise funds uh, for the mission that we have is uh, to protect and care and help uh, children and families in our community. Um, it's a great opportunity for us, as I mentioned. Um, we provide uh, all the volunteers for the uh, food tent and for uh, the course marking. And uh, in return for that, we get a nice uh, return from the uh, marathon uh, for our efforts. Mm -hmm. And how much, uh, how much money have you um, been given in the past uh, to help your organization? Sure. As a matter of fact, last year was a record year for the marathon. They gave out, they gave out almost $120,000. Uh, we got about uh, 40000 of that. So it's uh, fantastic for our organization to be able to get that kind of money uh, from this type of an event. It's really a great community effort. Uh, and really one of the uh, focuses, uh, one of the missions of the marathon is to give back to the community. So we really appreciate that. And Brent, can you give us any specific details of where that money goes to? What is it, what is it used for? Sure. Um, well, the majority of the money that we're raising uh, through this effort is going to our Child Advocacy Center, where we're helping uh, abused children in our community try and recover and heal from uh, any abuse that they've had in their past. Uh, it's really an opportunity for us to, uh, to help those kids heal. Um, you know, they've gone through such traumatic experiences, the majority of them, and to really help them heal so that the rest of their life can be successful. Uh, and that's a, that's tremendous help to have this money uh, going to support that kind of effort in our community. All right. Brent, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, I don't know if maybe You're we welcome. could. You're Thank you. Thank you. I, don't, I was hoping maybe we could pan over to see more of the finish line. We saw a couple runners there we go. go. there earlier on. I just want to see. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, it's speculating it was the half marathoners, the top ones there, starting to come in. Yes, 13.1 miles. There they come. More than I can ever imagine. Yeah, exactly let alone doing a marathon. guy taking off his hat. They must be so warm out there. Uh, it is hot, that's for Oof. sure. Congratulations, everyone. Yeah.